Hi kids of the world, Uncle Buzz here from Stories by Uncle Buzz, introducing my book, The Adventures of Faithful Horse Helen. There are six stories introducing the horse hero. I hope you enjoy them as much as I've enjoyed writing them. Thank you. The Adventures of Faithful Horse Helen, Stories by Uncle Buzz, Story 3, The Miracle of Mayor Galley. The clouds got darker. There was no relief in sight at the crackling of lightning flashed across the dark skies. A heavy rain had set in, just another reminder that the people of Joy Mountain would be in for a long, wet winter. Farmer Jeff, his wife Mary, and their two young children, Ben and Katie, were in the barn, their faces filled with concern that their white mare, Gully, is lying on the ground. Her body is shivering and sweat drips into her eyes. She should have delivered her foal by now. Farmer Jeff tried to call the local vet, Dr. Do, to come to the farm as soon as possible, but the phone is not working. The town is 10 miles away and the rain is becoming so heavy outside that Farmer Jeff could not take the chance to drive into town. Farmer Jeff can hardly see in front of himself as he runs from the barn to the house. He knew the roads would, not, would now be flooded. Panic set in for the safety of Mayor Gully and the foal she was carrying. What can we do? cried the children in distress. At that moment, faithful horse Helen's quiff shot up and she knew someone needed her help. Her gift of wisdom and her heart for rescue led her to know what she had to do. She had to go to town to pick up Dr. Do and take him to the farm if Mayor Gully and her fall are going to survive. Off galloped faithful horse Helen. The rain pelted down and Helen could hardly see but she knew it was important to keep going. The wet ground made it difficult for Helen to keep her footing. Slipping and tripping on wet leaves, Helen had to keep picking herself up off the soaked forest floor. She was tired and wet, but still she kept going until she reached the vet's home. She began to neigh and make as much noise as she could to get the doctor's attention. Eventually, Dr. Do came running outside to see what all the noise was about. When he saw Helen, he knew someone needed his help. He ran inside, got his raincoat and his doctor's bag and jumped on Helen's back. Together, they braved the rain to Farmer Jeff's barn. After what seemed like eternity, the farm was in sight. Suddenly, Faithful horse Helen pulled up short. Dr. Dew was confused and didn't understand why they had stopped. But then he saw before them a stream had flooded and it was the only way to get over to Farmer Jeff's farm. Both horse and rider were scared, but courage overtook the heart of faithful horse Helen and she launched herself into the stream. The current was strong. Faithful horse Helen was already tired and the vet hung on for his life. Helen knew she couldn't give up, though her body wanted to. She had to get the doctor to the barn. Mustering her last ounce of energy, she pulled herself up over the bank onto solid ground and made her way to the farm. Farmer Jeff heard noises outside and went to investigate. To his delight, he saw faithful horse Helen and Dr. Do. Quick, come quickly, urged Farmer Jeff. Mayor Gully is expecting a foal and he's in a lot of pain. Dr. Do saw the mayor and immediately knew she needed a special injection. He opened his doctor bag and pulled out a long needle. 
The children gasped. Ben clutched onto the mother's leg and Katie hid her eyes. It's all right, children, Dad reassured them. This is what she needs to make her well. Within 15 minutes, Mayor Galley's pain had eased and a healthy female fall was born. Everyone cheered in delight. Farmer Jeff and his family thanked the doctor for risking his life and for saving Mayor Galley. It's not me you should be thanking, said Dr. Do. The real hero here is faithful horse Helen. Realising the courageous horse had left the barn, the family rushed outside to thank her, but with no surprise to Dr. Do or anyone who knew of her legend, she had disappeared. Faithful horse Helen never expects thanks or praise. Her joy lies in knowing a rescue has been completed and that soon enough she'll be called upon again.